A 65-year-old woman beaten to death with a piece of concrete in her driveway, just so a man could steal her purse. Today, that man learned his fate. The 17-year-old convicted killer will spend the next 41 years to life in prison for killing Jacqueline Gavorsky in July. Her family now says the healing process can begin, but as News Channel 5's Terrence Lee reports, after her loved ones spoke out in court today. Emotions overwhelming as Jacqueline Gavorsky's family recounted the tragic night she was killed in front of her own home in South Euclid. Here was my wife laying on the ground with two hits to her head. She was bleeding. I watched as the police, the medical examiner, took her lifeless body away. And then, after the fireman hosed off her blood off the driveway, I knelt on the concrete with my brother, the hardest thing I've ever done, and we scrubbed our mother's blood stains out of the driveway with soap and water and bleach so my father would not have to do it. During the hearing, Gavorsky's husband and children pleaded to the judge to never let 17-year-old Jeffrey Rembert see the light of day again. Rembert and his father also spoke, apologizing to the family before the judge made his decision. And I pray that her family uh, in the future forgive me for my actions. This is a child that made a mistake. He made a mistake. But the judge didn't see it that way, handing down a sentence of 41 years to life in prison. My mom always believed that everybody deserved a second chance. We feel that Mr. Rumbert has gotten his second chance by not being given the death penalty for this. He has an opportunity to live out his days, days that my mother will never see. Also in court today, the judge told Rumbert, although he has a possibility of parole, he hopes the teenager is never released. Terrence Lee, News Channel 5.